y'all are not gonna be ready for this this is the rest of my stuff right here this is the rest of the stuff that i have done in ultrasound school hey guys what is up it is destiny and i'm here again with another video so for this video i am going to be discussing study tips tools and advice that i have for ultrasound students or for those wanting to go into ultrasound school and wondering you know what they should know when it comes to like studying and like some advice that they think may be helpful in this and that so if you would like to hear about those things stay tuned so as far as studying goes for ultrasound school the first thing that i want to say is that it is a trial and error process when it comes to ultrasound school the way that you have to study for ultrasound school is not the same way that you had to study for your prerequisite classes like ultrasound i was not prepared for like the amount of studying that I had to do in ultrasound school because I had never had to study like that in my life before and I definitely wasn't prepared for it at all and you know it really took me two months into ultrasound school to figure out what worked best for me when it comes to studying and like I said it's a trial and error process what may work for you may not work for somebody else and vice versa like I know a lot of my classmates use Quizlet they would type up their notes that did not work for me because I physically needed to handwrite my stuff that was the only way that I was going to retain and remember my information so for the longest time I was against flashcards and come to find out flashcards was what worked best for me and as far as setting I know for me at least repetition and seeing the same thing over and over and over again helps me remember and I also want to say in ultrasound school, do not memorize. You have to actually know this stuff because you want to know how you can apply it in the clinical environment. Because I know for the longest time I was memorizing stuff and I was like, no destiny. Like you actually like have to know this stuff. So like when it comes to studying, you know, don't memorize. You actually have to remember this stuff. Like it needs to stay locked into your brain. And also, I feel like once you figure out what works best for you, you're set. Like once I found out that flashcards were my go-to when it came to studying, I was like, okay, this is it. This is what I'm doing for the rest of my time doing ultrasound school. Cause quite frankly, I don't have time to like figure out something else. And like a little bit of backstory, you know, leading me up to figuring out that flashcards were the way for me is that, you know, I was, like rewriting my notes like two to three times and it was becoming very time consuming and I was like destiny you do not have time to write your notes two to three times like sis like you gotta figure something else out and I was like okay you know because rewriting my notes that's what worked best for me like y'all like I would just rewrite my notes like on like printer paper and like color code everything and you know that worked for me but it was just it was very time consuming and I was like I can't keep doing this like two to three times like it's it's too much so I decided to do flashcards and you know as far as ultrasound school I really do believe repetition will help you a lot if you are constantly seeing something if you're constantly writing down something or even if typing works best for you repetition will really help you when it comes to setting because I love flashcards I love flashcards so much because it's a lot of repetition and that stuff will literally stick in your brain I mean there's other ways that you can do flashcards like through Quizlet and everything and you can just keep going through the questions but y'all like literally handwriting my notes that's what worked best for me it was just something about seeing my own handwriting that allowed me to like remember stuff you know so definitely when it comes to like setting and figure out what best for you it may take a while but trust and believe once you find that way that works best for you you'll be fine and i also want to talk about like organization for ultrasound school staying organized is key when it comes to studying and everything you want to know exactly where you can find your notes or whatever you use to study for ultrasound school so one thing that i use in um, ultrasound school is my ipad and i definitely suggest investing in some type of tablet or ipad when you're in ultrasound school because i think it's really beneficial when you're going through your powerpoints and everything in classes so there's this app that I have, it's called Notability and I'll like leave a picture right here so y'all can see what it looks like in the app store. So basically Notability, I put all my PowerPoints in Notability. So right here, 
I have like all my classes like right here and everything and every class has PowerPoints for like that class so for example this is my OBGYN 1 class. So all my PowerPoints from OBGYN 1 are like in this little tab. And then I have my other class, my pediatric sonography course. I don't know if you can see it or not, but all my pediatric PowerPoints are like in my pediatric sonography courses. And this is a great way to stay organized and keep all your PowerPoints in one area. Also, if you have a computer, you can keep your PowerPoints on your computer or you know, if you have a Google folder or something like that, I definitely highly suggest a Google folder to stay organized. I think the Google folder is a an amazing idea because you know, you can have all the PowerPoints in one area, multiple people can access it. And um, I know for my OBGYN courses, we had a Google folder because the way that our PowerPoints were, we had a lot of fill in the blanks and everything. And sometimes we would miss fill in the blanks in class because the PowerPoint was going too fast. So we would just, you know, after OB class, just go in and fill it out. And actually one of my classmates, she took her notes on the Google Docs folder or PowerPoint. So we had access to it. Like we had got each other's emails and one of my classmates made the Google folder and you know, we had access to that. Staying organized like that, top tier, because you can be like, okay, boom, I need this PowerPoint from OBGYN class from this chapter. I can just go to this Google folder and it's right there. And I also want to stress this y'all, save every single PowerPoint you get from ultrasound school. I'm gonna repeat that again. Save every single PowerPoint you get from ultrasound school because my first semester, I did not do that and i completely regret it i have all my powerpoints except for the ones from the first semester and <clears throat> you know i still have all my notes i just don't have my powerpoint and you know saving these powerpoints yes they're good to have throughout the semester and everything but when you're nearing the end of your journey in ultrasound school and you're about to study for your boards and everything and you don't have those powerpoints you're going to be like uh what am i supposed to study but you know make sure you're saving those powerpoints and everything don't be like me um but yeah just save those powerpoints and you'll be good to go here's another thing as far as organization so more specifically you know when it comes to like pathology and ultrasound school and everything i do suggest like pathology charts i personally didn't use them but some of my classmates did and they found it extremely helpful pathology charts are extremely beneficial because you can see what pathologies have similar signs and symptoms, what age groups they affect, if it's benign or malignant. One of my classes, I should have did them and I didn't. And that's why I'm glad I'm making this video so y'all don't make the same mistakes that I did. But pathology charts are a great way to stay organized in regards to like pathologies in ultrasound because y'all, there are a ton of pathologies in ultrasound school, especially OBGYN. So many pathologies. So definitely do those pathology charts. That is a great way to stay organized as a great way to know your information and you should be good to go now that i know like okay this works best for me i'm organized now where do i fit in studying y'all i can't if i'm being completely honest it just depends on who you are like i know one day it was a couple semesters ago my teacher she gave us like this little week weekly calendar thing and she basically told us to fill out our schedule for the week like what do we do during like the days of the week and then she was like okay now see where you can fit in studying and you know in ultrasound school it's going to feel like there is not enough time in the day to do anything and you know having that chart having that schedule made me realize okay i can fit you know set a little studying and during this hour hour and a half and then afterwards i have like four hours like where i can study and everything and when it comes to studying study for one class a day don't try to combine stuff because stuff is gonna get jumbled up one day do physics one day do abdomen another day do ob don't try to do three classes in one day because it's gonna be too much it's gonna be brain overload don't do it but you know making that schedule and seeing where you could fit in certain things like in your daily schedule i think is really beneficial because everybody is different like me i was working during my time in ultrasound school and you know work i was there for like five six hours at a time and sometimes i didn't have the opportunity to study so i'm just like well i got 30 40 minutes here let me take out my flashcards and do like a little studying here and there and um 
So creating that schedule is a great way to figure out where you can fit in studying or how long you need to spend studying. And when it comes to like studying for my tests and everything, I would say start early. So literally after every single chapter or lecture that we would do in class, I would go home and start my flashcards. I may not finish my flashcards that day, but they will get done within a couple of days from finishing that PowerPoint or that lecture. And I say do this now because when it's like like a couple days or like a week before your test, you do not want to spend hours creating flashcards or doing whatever it is that you do to help you study and everything because stuff is time consuming. Like these flashcards that I got are very time consuming. And quite frankly, I don't have time to be doing a bunch of flashcards, like five sets of flashcards before my test. So I definitely suggest after you finish a lecture, that's when you need to do whatever it is that you do to study, either do your Quizlet, do your flashcard, do your study guide. And if you do that after every single chapter, then when it comes to your test is approaching, all you gotta do is, okay, let me pull out my flashcards or let, let me pull up this Quizlet so I can go through these questions right quick. Because the thing is you already know that information is you kind of just gotta like, you just gotta jog your memory a little bit by going through everything. But I definitely suggest doing that right after you finish a lecture or chapter because it will help you in the long run. Also, I do wanna add right quick because I forgot to like mention this about my studying and everything. For me, what I did to study was I literally would go through my PowerPoints, make sure I knew my PowerPoints, and then I would go through my flashcards. And when it came to my flashcards and everything, I made my flashcards based off the PowerPoint. And in my program, at least, the PowerPoints literally just came from the textbook. It was just a condensed version. So like if I was like reading the PowerPoint and this was something that I didn't understand, I would just look in the textbook so it could like further explain it to me. And I would make the flashcards based off the PowerPoints just because it was like condensed and it wasn't so overwhelming because I find textbooks very overwhelming just seeing all those words and everything and I don't know what I should focus on. So like, you know, when I made my flashcards, I would just go through the PowerPoints, make sure I made flashcards on like the most common pathologies, um, what age group or what like female or male, if it affected females or males more, um, signs and symptoms, like I would know what stuff looked like. You know, I typically couldn't um, do flashcards on stuff because one, I didn't want to keep using my printer, but I would just look at my PowerPoint for like the ultrasound images of like pathologies and everything. And then sometimes I would even go on Google just to see like what it would look like, like other patients. So for the studying, I would go through the PowerPoints, my flashcards and my textbook. So that's really all the resources that I would use to study. And you know, I would just do repetition. Like I would constantly do this so I could remember stuff. And like I said, you don't want to memorize in ultrasound school. You want to remember this stuff because you're gonna have to apply it when you get into the clinical setting. As far as testing and everything, see if your teachers will do a test review because I love test reviews so much because it saves me time because sometimes I don't know what to exactly study and I'm like studying every single little bitty detail knowing darn on well, that stuff is not gonna be in the test. But you know, asking your teacher for test reviews, seeing if you could possibly do a Kahoot, even if your teacher doesn't do a Kahoot, see if your classmates want to get together. For the PowerPoints, before the PowerPoint presentation, they would, have, they would outline our test objectives and basically that was, you know, what everything was covered on in that PowerPoint. So if you know the test objectives and everything, if you aren't given the opportunity to do a test review or anything, beneficial as well because I don't know about y'all, but I do not want to study like four or five chapters of information with no type of test review or just not knowing what I should study because when you're trying to study every little bitty detail, it is, it's a lot. And um, also I forgot one thing, um, when it came to like making my flashcards and everything, to stay organized and know what flashcards pertain to like what class and chapter, I would put the, um, the class and then what chapter it was. And I would rubber band them together like, and I did these for every single one of my um, sets of flashcards that I did. And I wanna show y'all all the stuff that I have done since I've been in ultrasound school. So this right here, this is a container full of flashcards. Um, you know, I just have them labeled with like what class it is and what chapter it was. 
So these are all the flashcards for some of my time during ultrasound school. And then y'all are not gonna be ready for this. This is the rest of my stuff right here. This is the rest of the stuff that I have done in ultrasound school. This container consists of flashcards, notebooks, worksheets. And you know, if you wanna stay organized, get you one of these because you know, I keep all my stuff together. So if I need to look for my physics flashcards, I know I just need to go underneath my bed and they're gonna be in this container somewhere but they're in here. But um, this is literally everything that I have done in ultrasound school so far. And this thing is pretty heavy. Um, I do have some more flashcards like laying around and everything, but y'all do the work, do the work now so you don't have to do it later. Do it now so you don't have to do it later because when it comes to studying for your finals, these flashcards or that Quizlet is gonna be very beneficial. And then when it comes to studying for your board exam, you gonna have stuff done. Like it's already gonna be done. Like when I start studying for my boards in a couple of months, my stuff is gonna be right here and everything. And I want to um, just say one last tip that I have in regards to studying and ultrasound school and all that jazz. Make sure you take time for yourself. Um, you know, during my time in ultrasound school, definitely my first semester, I felt like I was going 110%, 24-7, and eventually, you know, I crashed. That was because I didn't give myself enough self-care. I didn't take enough time for myself to breathe and everything. But when you're studying and, like, during your time in ultrasound school, make sure you're taking time for yourself. Um, you know, when you're studying, take those breaks in between. If you're tired, do not study. One thing about me, y'all, if I'm tired, I will not study because I'm not going to be retaining any information and I'm literally wasting my time. If you're tired, take you a little power nap before you get to study and you'll feel 10 times better. Make sure you eat something before you start studying because you want to have the energy and fuel to like study and everything. And after a certain time at night, you need to call it quits. Be like, you know, after 10 o'clock, I'm not doing any more studying. I need to get some sleep and everything. But Make sure you take time for yourself during ultrasound school. Like y'all, this is not an easy program. Ultrasound is not easy. It's doable, it's possible. And I am proof, I am literally in my senior year. I have one more semester left and then I can graduate. Fingers crossed, I know I'm gonna graduate, but fingers crossed and you know, it's doable. It's a very challenging, tough program, but y'all can get through it. If I can get through it, y'all can get through it. So with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye, y'all.